Just show that. I'll show you now. Okay, for these types of questions, guys, we're going to use the stuff that we learned yesterday with rationalizing a denominator. But basically, this is a specific type of question, all right, where they're giving you an equation and they're asking you to prove the equation or to show that this is equal to that. All right, so it's a very specific type of question. And there's a specific way in which you need to answer these types of questions. So whenever you see the words show that, I'm going to write it here next to the heading. Show that, and then they'll give you an equation like we have here, or they can say prove that. And then they can give you an equation, right? Those are the words that we need to look out for. Now, basically, what we have to show is that the left hand side of this equation is, in fact, equal to the right hand side. Okay, so let's write that there as well. We're going to have to do an LHS equals RHS. Thing. Now, I'm not sure if you would have seen this in grade 10, these types of questions, where you write LHS, the left hand side, is equal to this, and then you work on this and you change it into the right hand side. You might have seen something like that as a bit of an extension question, right? But it's going to come up more and more in different topics as well. So whenever you see the words show that and prove that, guys, you can't work on both sides of this equation at the same time. All right, you're going to have to choose a side to start with. Usually we start with the left hand side. Okay, now we're going to have to work on the left hand side. We're going to have to change it, manipulate it until we get the right hand side. Okay, did you see this last year? What did it ever come up? My, maybe in a test or exam or something. All right. But that's what we need to look out for, guys. Show that, prove that. Basically, we can't work on both sides of this equation because then we are assuming that the equation is, in fact, true. They're telling us that we must show that it's true. All right, so we can't use this, this equation. We can't work on both sides at the same time because they, they are actually telling us that it's true, but we have to show that it's true. All right, we can't assume that it is. So what you're going to do, guys, you always have to write LHS right, for left-hand side. Sometimes you can work on the right-hand side if you want, but normally we work on the left-hand side, we'll see now. Then I want you to rewrite the left-hand side. Okay, so whatever we had on the left, two root A over A plus two B over root A. And now we're going to approach this as a simplified question. All right, we're actually now just going to try and simplify this. But in the end, we are supposed to get to that, all right, in order to prove that the equation is true. Does that make sense? So we're not actually working with this at all. This is just almost like a guide. We know that we're working towards that, but we're actually just going to work with the left-hand side. Now, what do we have on the right, guys? It's good to actually check what we're trying to work towards. That will give us some guidance and in terms of what we have to do. Do we see that we're working towards one fraction? Here we have two fractions, all right? And in the one fraction that we're working towards, remember we're trying to show that this is equal to that. We need just A in our denominator. At the moment, we have an A and a root A. Now, how can I get rid of this root A, guys? What can I do to just turn that into A? Yeah, it's good. We're going to rationalize the denominator, right? Not the exponent, yeah, the denominator. Right. Fine. So if we rationalize this denominator, I'm going to have to multiply it by itself. Remember, when we have one term in the denominator and that term has a third, then we multiply it by itself. But then remember, we have to do the same thing at the top. I'm going to leave my first fraction as it is, I don't know, because at this point, it kind of is looking like what we have on the right, okay? So it looks like the first fraction is fine as it is. We might have to change it later on, but we'll see. So 2 root A over A plus... So I prefer to put the whole thing in front of the third. All right, just so that you don't get confused and think that that B might be in the search. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then over A, like that. 
Okay, now do we see that we have two fractions and they're over the same denominator? So now we can put it together as one fraction, hey? Because we're adding. So now we can write this as two root A plus two B root A all over A. Now we can see that we're on the right track, okay? Because now we have one fraction, which is what we have, and our denominator is A. So we're nearly there. Now guys, what did they do here in the on the right-hand side? Good, they took out a common factor of two root A. Do I have that on my left-hand side here that I'm working with? I do, okay, so I can do that as well. So here we're gonna take out two root A as a common factor. And remember when you take something out as a common factor, you divide by that common factor. So the first term, two root A divided by two root A is one. Remember anything divided by itself is one. And here we have two B root A. Now if I divide that by two root A, I'm gonna be left with B. Right, the two and the root A will go away. So that's gonna be plus B and at the bottom, that is over A. Is that what we were supposed to get? Yes. Okay, now guys, we just need to end this off always by saying that this is in fact equal to the right hand side. So we need to say like, therefore. You can actually leave it like this. You don't have to. You can. So guys, you can say therefore left hand side equals right hand side, but you can actually just leave it like this. Okay. Right, because we're showing that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. Okay, so you are allowed to leave it like that. Does that make sense, guys? Mm -hmm. So you're going to use the stuff that I've taught you so far. So it's not new content. It's just a new type of question. All right. And that's what you're going to practice on your own now. If the question is saying show that or prove that, then you work with one side of the equation and you manipulate it until you get to the other side. All right. Usually they set the question up so that you need to start with the left-hand side because guys, if we'd started working with the right-hand side, it would have been more difficult. All right. On the left-hand side, it was quite easy because we just had to rationalize this denominator and then put it together as one fraction. If we wanted to work from this side, we would have had to multiply in and then divide it would have been a, a bit of a, you would have been able to do it, but it would have been more difficult. Yeah. Even if you have to start with the right hand side, you'll have to split the right hand side. Yes. Mm. Yeah, so you could split it up if you have two terms over one fraction, yeah. but then it would be difficult to go from that to that. Yeah, because then you start with one fraction, that's two zero, but we take it in the middle of that. Yeah. It's still both. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, guys, so my suggestion is work on the left hand side first. All right, if you can't get to the right hand side, then try. Maybe if you're going from the right hand side to the left hand side, but 95% of the time, you will have to work from the left to the right. Okay, I'm going to give you some of these to practice on your own now, and then we'll see how it goes. Yes? Yes? All right, guys, so from exercise, I think it was 14, was that the last one that you did? That number three was exercise 14, hey? Yep. Sorry, this pen is running out. Exercise 14, which was on page 17. I would like you guys to do, sure, not all of number one. Let's do. It's to 1.5 to 1.7. And guys, I want you to try number four. All right, number four consists of two parts. So you might be able to just do only, or only do the first part and then you might not know how to get to the second part, but try that one. Okay, number four is a typical like test problem solving question. Yeah. 
you know. Right, any other questions, guys? Okay, get going, please. I'll put it on the board for you.